the Golden Age of Sale also brings an inspiration for another drink. Welcome back. Today we're talking about grog. Now, actual grog was created during the Golden Age of Sail. The person that originated it was Admiral Vernon of the HMS Burford. Back in the Golden Age of Sail, the regulation used to be a gallon of beer for every sailor for every day. When Jamaica was colonized and rum became prevalent, the spec uh, specification became a pint of rum for every sailor for every day. And it used to be sent out in a ration, but some of the more astute, some of the more sturdy uh, men on the ship were able to go without for a couple days and then throw a big party, which caused morale to drop significantly. Thus, that was abandoned to an, to an extent until Admiral Vernon on the Burford created the Tot, which was a one part rum to four parts water that would be served on deck twice a day, one in the morning, one in the evening. Those that were de that those that thought themselves to be good husbands could substitute a salt ration for lime juice and sugar to make the mixture more palatable. Because remember, they're bringing over as fresh water as they can, but on the sea, it will turn to algae, or at least algae will bloom. So to make that up, that was done. The last tot, I believe, was done in 1979 in July. It was known as the Black Tot. I'm not going to make that today, but that's not the basis of this drink. This drink is called Navy Grog, which was created by Trader Vic Bergeron and also was adapted slightly by Don the Beachcomber. It's similar to the zombie in that it has been said that, like the zombie, only two of the beverages may be served to one patron at any time, or at least in that day, because of how much rum was in it. This recipe is from Trader Vic, adapted by Smuggler's Cove. Let's go ahead and get into it. It's a shaken cocktail. Means, of course, grab a shaker. Now for this, first I need to get a lime and I need a grapefruit. Got my grapefruit, got my lime, and I got a juicer. I'm going to slice this lime in half, or at least as close to in half as possible. That's a thick rind. Uh, I don't know. And I need three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And I'm going to put this off to the side, and I'm going to throw this there, because now I also need grapefruit juice. I'm going to take the grapefruit, I'm going to slice it as best as I can down the middle. And I'm just gonna squeeze this grapefruit juice. You want your you want your juices to be as fresh as possible, so fresh squeeze is of course the best way to go. Now I need three quarters of an ounce of grapefruit juice, freshly squeezed if at all possible. And now I need a quarter of an ounce of Demerara Simple Syrup, and I need a quarter of an ounce of allspice dram. Saint Elizabeth's allspice dram is fine. That's what I'm using. And now for the rums. First one, I need an ounce of Smith and Cross. Jamaican style. We're gonna maintain Jamaican as much as possible for this. An ounce of Apple and Estate Signature Blend. And I need an ounce of Angostura 1919. And now, of course, grab your ice. Okay, ice cube in, cocktail in, pop. Gonna let that tamper for a second. Nice pop out, really easy. And now I need to grab my glass. Now grab your glass, and I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I have an ice cone. I'm gonna put that in, right as such, and introduce a straw right on in. 
Yeah, there's different ways to serve this cocktail. One is with an ice cone. Another would be with a, uh, like a rock candy stick or a sprig of mint. So, I went with that. Grab your Hawthorne, and I'm going to strain it with a closed gate right over this ice cone. And this is Navy Grog. Cheers. That's nice. The, uh, the grapefruit juice has a lot more bitterness than I thought. The lime, of course, lime is a lime is known for being antique. The rums, it tastes like a more, it tastes like a slightly more bitter zombie. Truth be told, it's a nice cocktail though. You know, it's not too sweet. It's not uh, too acidic. Um, Another, yeah, another bit of history about the Navy Grog is that former president, and I don't know if I should use the word disgraced or troubled president, Richard Nixon actually used to leave the White House during the Watergate investigations and go to Trader Vic's establishment in Washington, D.C. at around 3 in the morning where a bartender was still just waiting and he would have one or two of these drinks and pour his heart out to the bartender and as far as I know the bartender to this day has not violated the bartender oath of never tell a secret true or not not sure very possible though on that note this is a very very good cocktail if you like the video then please hit the like button comment subscribe and also share the video please if you want to use any of the barware on my show check down below there is a link to kit.co where all the barware that i use on my show aside from you know like uh, this juicer and things like that will be put in you can go there check out the products purchase them if you want i receive a bit of the kickback since they are affiliate links thank you in advance find me on my find all my socials also in the description below until next time thank you for watching i'll be back real soon with another cocktail this has been the beginner's bar